the food, the smell of the place, the music when you walk in, the whole decor is all about South America. Koya's food is very Peruvian. It's all about experience. It's all about my travels, my flavors, my culture. And I, that's what I put on a plate. Before I took on the project, uh, I went to Peru, I went to Madrid. I had a chance to work at one of the best restaurants or the, the number one chef of Peru, whose name is Gaston Ocurio. So it was just basically traveling, eating, uh, drinking, and looking at food on a very, very different perspective. I used my experience and then I formulate it and then I give it to my customers. But then again, this was an amazing challenge to take on. Uh, for an Indian guy to come over and uh, <laughs> do proven food. Koya has four areas. We have a private members area, we have the Pisco Lounge area, we have the main restaurant, and then we have the chef's table. The whole decor of the private members is very different from the restaurant downstairs. It's very colonial when you come up here. You have to be a member to get in. It's a very intimate place. It's somewhere you can come around and have a drink and have some good food, uh, have some great drinks, nice pisco sours, and it's much more intimate where people can come and talk. So that is the reason we decided to do the members bar. The members get priority with the bookings as well so they can bring up to a certain amount of people. Then you have the Pisco Lounge. We, we are probably the only ones who do that many flavored Piscos. And then again, we have all the different type of tequila dances as well. So like I said, like the food is very Peruvian, but the, the whole drinks, the, the, the look is all about South America. And then we have the main restaurant. And again, uh, the main restaurant is like, you can say like it's split in three parts. And then the last bit is the chef's table. The customers can watch what's happening in the kitchen. They are looked after, they are special. For me, if I want to go out somewhere, I want to go to a chef's table. Maybe because I'm a chef. So I like to see the chef, what they do and how they do it. And you get inspired. It's just a fun place to be. It's, it's all a sharing concept. We have a sharing, it's not like where you order a starter and a main course and a dessert. You come with a bunch of friends, because we have three kitchens, uh, two show kitchens and one kitchen at the back, whatever food is ready, it comes. You can have a big meal, there's no carbs. I have no carbs on the menu. You know, it's only proteins. So you can have a good protein meal. And that's why we have a lot of clients coming here as well, who come once, twice, some, well, a few of them come three times a week. Ceviches are the pulse of Koya. Everybody comes over here for, for ceviches. And ceviche basically is just lime juice, bit of fish, bit of chilies, and then you just mix them up. Like I say, it's a new sushi. You know, instead of having soya and wasabi, you have chilies and lime. We have 14 ceviche and teredizos on the menu. We started with seven, eight, and gradually and gradually, we're adding whatever's in season, we just add on. Then again, the anticuchos, which are the skewers of meat. We just cook them on a barbecue. So we have a big uh, robata brasa downstairs. One of the favorites of Koya uh, is a yellow tail uh, with some jalapenos and that's called a tiridito. The difference between tiridito and ceviche is ceviche is diced, tiridito is sliced, and you put the sauce right there. That's it, simple. Because the yellow tail is such a beautiful fish, you don't want to do anything to it. Simplicity for me is the, the hardest, but yet the best thing to do. We have all worked very hard, and there's been a lot of tears, there's been a lot of sweat, but I really, really feel that is there's somebody up there watching on to me and the team to look after how well it's going. Because I've opened a lot of restaurants in my life, but this one, the transition has been just amazing. 